Hey, before we start I would like to say a big thank you to our patrons. Special honor to Eric for this great support. Thank you to Sam Incineda, David Hensel, Melina Brunner, Robert Hartl, Erich Gangel, Reinhard Bauer, Theresa and Maximilian Heinle. Without your help we can't make our game Cortex and this YouTube tutorial. My name is Sam Gangel and this is part 3 of the Warhammer tutorial series. Before we start with the texture I want to say something about this tutorial. The asset creation process will not be completely shown in this tutorial series by me. In this and the next part I will talk about hand painted textures and how we use them for our game Cortex. In the last two episodes I talked about the modeling and UV layout process. However, creating this 3D mesh and painting a texture means not that the work is done. This Warhammer weapon will need some extra work in Unity for creating particle effects or some special shader till we can use it as a finished asset. For now it will be enough to create the texture and maybe Severin will care about further steps in some future tutorials soon. Let's head to our texture. Before you start painting you should think about a style and use of your texture. I will show you in this tutorial and simplified cell shading texture style. Cortex uses only a basic color and some outlines for their texture. At least there is a use of a filter in Photoshop which creates an extra tune feeling. Ok, let's do the same on our weapon handle. Basic color. Drag and drop the exported UV map to Photoshop. Create a new layer, bring your background color to white and fill the layer with a shortcut Ctrl plus delete. I care always about giving my layers a name. Next I bring my concepts to Photoshop as well. Drag and drop the file tab to your working space so that you see both files. Select the brush tool. This is important because now you can press Alt and get the pipette tool to pick up your needed color of your reference. I want to fill some errors with the picked color next and use the shortcut Ctrl plus delete. Always care about your front and back color. If you have picked a color it will be always in the front color panel. Press X to switch between the front and the back color. Now you can use your fill shortcut again with the correct color. Select the rectangular mark tool and make a selection of an area you want to fill with the picked color and press Ctrl plus delete. Feel free to use the rectangular mark tool or the polygonal lasso tool. Both tools are very useful. Fill your created UV islands with a basic color which should represent a special material. For example, iron, wood, gold or an other special material. Give the UV islands always some extra pixels so that there is no color bleeding through the borders. Well, there are only some crystal UV islands left. For sure I can start to make a proper selection for those as well. But it is easier to fill your background with a basic color for the crystal itself. Don't forget to save your progress. Details Usually I create a new layer for each material in my texture. After setting a basic color I go to the next step and start with some details. For this I create a new layer above the layer you want to adjust next. Press Alt and move your mouse cursor between those two layers till you see this symbol. Make now a left click and create a clipping mask. Maybe you don't know what is a clipping mask? Ok, a clipping mask is a layer which working space is influenced by the layer below. Even though you draw somewhere else this doesn't affect the result. Only the layer from below can reveal the layer above doing. You can always disable the connection of those two layers. Clipping masks can be very useful if you want to shade something and don't want to lose your shape. Ok, back to your texture. I use the clipping mask to create some details on an extra layer 
with a darker color of the base color and create some straight lines to symbolize leather or fabric of the handle. Maybe I overdo it with the lines, but anyway. Select now the rectangle tool and fill it with a basic yellow color to create some further decoration of the handle. Move it on a position where you see it from front and back position in a straight way. Now double click on the layer to call up the layer style window. Enable and visit the stroke menu. If your preview is activated you can immediately see what you are doing here. You can change the size or the blend mode of your stroke. I set the stroke to 5 pixels, normal blend mode, 100% opacity and adjust the stroke color to a dark yellow. With this simple method I boost the tune effect a little bit. But we are not done with the layer style yet. Open them again and enable bevel and emboss. Style in a bevel. Technique crystal hard. Change the size till the line starts to collapse. For this decoration element I soften the borders a little bit and change the opacity of the highlight and shadow mode. I want this effect to be very subtle. I'm ready to switch to Blender next, because it's better to draw the main part for the details in Blender. I prepare the needed colors for all materials with a shadow and lighter color on texture space, which is not used in UV space of your 3D mesh. Ok, that's it in Photoshop for now. In my next tutorial I will explain this texture painting tool in Blender. If you like this tutorial, please give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for further tutorials. We love creating tutorials, but we need as well some support. Become our patron and help us to help you. Thank you very much for watching, hope to see you next time, cheers!